that's um that's real old isn't it that's oh like, yeah. yeah and I, I um because I've always I suppose in slide I've just always looked at um you know like a chord in a chord you know and, and to hearing it you know just in a what standard I'm, tuning what I'm playing is you know a like mm. I call that the long A yeah, yeah. well this, this is a pattern you know I use it up here those are all the notes for the slide yeah it's like a box here Pattern. The pattern, yeah, and you just, you know, move it up. Oh, you can use it anywhere you want to. Yeah. Like D. studying to be a guitar player you yeah. know I mean I, I love playing guitar yeah but I was just mostly playing harmonica with these guys like yeah. r mostly Robert Nighthawk yeah and uh and of course I saw Earl Hooker around a lot and it was obvious that Earl got his slide style from Robert yeah and uh just watching them. Just, just watch them like they didn't actually say okay. I just, I just, I just the, the patterns they were using were apparent to me. I just, yeah. I saw what they were doing and I just sat around and figured it out. Yeah. And uh, I so, mean open, those open uh, tunings are fine too, but if you're in a band situation, you can't keep retuning or switching guitars and I know, all, I all that stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Just playing in regular tuning yeah. makes it a whole lot easier. It, it does, because when we're playing, you know, everyone, I go, stop, you know, we finished the song, and I go, uh, get another guitar because we're about to play a slide song, song or whatever. Nothing and I, wrong know. with that, but then you got to carry those extra guitars. Yeah, yeah, and everyone's looking at me going, oh, just, <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, come on, I'm like, okay, 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 I'm ready. <laughs> and then they go back to another thing, I'm going, oh, okay, that's back in normal tuning, you know, that's the one that I the song I play in normal, you know, in standard tuning, so mm -hmm. then I go change guitars back and that makes a whole lot of and yeah, I've always looked at it as if like it, it just seemed um Some of the harder. oldest blues mm -hmm. I learned was a uh, was a guy named Willie B and he'd play in G like this, he'd be
Memphis Blues I learned from Will Shade was, uh, and it's just really early, early blues. Yeah. Just um, God, that just transport transports to my head way back. You know, like listening when I first heard um, Marty Waters and all that. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. I, I um, you know, I haven't heard that kind of guitar this close <laughs> before. You know what I mean? Like a John, you know, when John when we had John, mm -hmm. John Hammond, he, he picked up the guitar one morning after coffee, and I went over to his room in the morning, we had a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. and I saw his national, I went, oh wow, that's pretty cool, you know, and he said, oh, you know, have a go, and I went, oh, okay, you know, <laughs> just kind of, and then I put it in the gate to him, and, you know, and then he, you know, John, you know, did his <laughs> He knows thing. a lot of the old styles, too. Yeah. Um, and through that, you guys have actually kept all that alive, you've really helped, you know? Yeah. Because otherwise it'd just disappear, wouldn't it? Kind of, you know. Like. One thing I do is I use this, which is like B7. Mm. I use it up here for E and for A. Yeah. But you can use the same by moving it over one. So you got the, the B there instead of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the A. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Right. <laughs> uh, they kind of like those. Um, it's a, like a ninth chord almost, isn't it? That, but it's a, it's still a seventh though. You, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I would try to play. You know. You, so you really play by ear, isn't it? Um, that um, is like um, it's such um, I suppose that's what drew, drew me to blues of the uh, um, the feeling what it makes you feel like. I mean, it does make you feel much better. I, you know, it takes care of the hangover. Really. Oh, it does. I'm like, <laughs> oh, you know, forget the hangover, man. I'm feeling that's just so um. Well, the feeling to me, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You can play all the notes and all the chords and and say that this is the blue scale and all yeah. that. But if it don't have the feeling, it that's yeah, it's not just the notes. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really mean much, does it? It's, yeah, it's like that. Um, you know, BB King when he just kind of plays that that one note, you know, and you instantly know it's him. But it's like. Yeah, he's, he's not fooling anybody. He's not, yeah. So you hear that note, you know it's him. Yeah. He ain't fooling me, he ain't fooling you. Nah, it's, um, you know. <laughs> That's supposed to be a joke. Yeah. 
Not fooling anybody. <laughs> Sounds just like himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing these blogs because I love blues music and I know you guys do too, so let's share it. Share it to all your friends and show them the power of blues music. <laughs>